All right. Well, I've been studying uh, the Ed Scallon, Ed Lead Scallon um, stuff going on at the Energetic Forum and, and the uh, YouTube, and uh, uh, this stuff from Coral Castle and and Ed Lead Scallon's uh, permanent magnet holder or perpetual motion holder, whichever way you want to call it, I guess. Um, they're making into a motor. And Whoopi posted this diagram, and it's actually somebody else's diagram, and I believe the Bedini uh, Cole um, bipolar sequential circuit is what's going on here. But uh, basically, it, uh, it has a north-south, north-south type of rotor and two different poles here, and then the uh, hall sensor that senses the position and fires off this uh, U-shaped electromagnet to make the rotor go around. And uh, I was pretty fascinated with this, so I thought I'd give a stab at it and, and try to do something. And I came up with this little arrangement here. And it's not right, but uh, it's a similar deal. It's a U-shaped magnet with a north-south pole. And then I've got a little um, uh, rotor in here that you've seen me use before when the coils were mounted here and here before. And now I took them off of that and I put them in this um, horseshoe magnet kind of arrangement. Then I'm using a hall sensor, which is what this circuit calls for there, that picks up a south pole uh, signal only, not north, but just south, and tells the transistor circuit to fire. And uh, anyway, it, it did work. It, it's not right, and it's not the, the correct thing to do, but at least it ran, and it was something to play with. And it'll run this uh, little uh, induction ball-driven generator, Maggie generator. Santa Claus thinks it's kind of cool. cool. <laughs> We're getting ready for Christmas. You can see all my projects are uh, pretty much disassembled and we've got Christmas decorations. But I did want to share this thing with you that this, uh, this um, perpetual motion holder motor I thought was rather interesting. And uh, you see it's running now. And Maggie's eyes are on. Yep, they just went off. Let's see if I can get them to go on again. There we go. You probably can't even see that with this light. But um, anyway, it's something I've been playing with is this perpetual motion or permanent magnet holder type of circuit here. And uh, it's not run the way I want it to run because I'm not getting the back EMF that I want. There's a, a light showing the back EMF, and I'm not getting the back EMF that Whoopi showed, but uh, I am getting some results out of it. And uh, I've got it running on 5 volts and terrible amp draw, like 80, 90 milliamps to make this thing run like that. So it's not right, but uh, it is something to play with. And... Uh, Go over to Energetic Forum, look at the um, threads discussing Ed Leedscallon's work, and uh, you'll be able to find more about this thing. Anyway, that's the latest for today, my little project uh, with this uh, U-shaped pulse motor drive. Thanks for watching.